I'm Alex Grieve, better known as Ivy Crazy, and in this video I'm reviewing the Helimax 230SI. This helicopter I honestly bought as a dog toy, and you can see by the fact that it's got a few chew marks in it already that my dog and I have gone out and played with it. But I figured it was worthy of a review because honestly there were some things that really impressed me and some things that I wish, well, they would have done better. But first of all, let's talk about the things that it does really well. First of all, the transmitter is actually a really nice transmitter. It actually, it, it's got some mass to it. It doesn't feel like cheap junk in your hands. Granted, the gimbals aren't great, but I got this thing ready to fly for $46 shipped to my door, and that you just can't beat. The other thing that I really liked about it is it actually came with batteries for the transmitter, so I didn't have to go out and buy four AA's for it. So kudos to them on that. I also like the fact that it's got multiple modes and buttons on it. Uh, you have three different flight modes. One is standard. Uh, the other one is altitude control. It only allows the helicopter to go about 10 feet off the ground. And the another one is where it hovers at mid stick and you can kind of choose the direction. Another thing I liked about it is it has the option for acro mode. In other words, angle mode. So not only does it have auto level, but you can push the stick to this corner and it will give it acro mode. So it will hold an angle where you leave it. That is pretty impressive. You usually don't find that in a sub $50 quadcopter. Another thing that I liked is that the plastic is actually fairly significant. It's not absolute cheap junk. The other thing I liked, the components in general were great. If you look at the bottom, you could see that the propellers actually spin on real ball bearings, not bushings. The motors have brass gears and the propellers have carbonite gears. The propellers are also fairly stiff. They're not super cheap. So overall, the build construction is incredible. For a $50 quadcopter, the materials they used are amazing. So let's take it outside and see how it flies. And well, see how my dog likes it. Uh, since we're outside, I'm only gonna fly in two modes. First, I'm going to try the auto level mode, and then I'm gonna go into the acro mode. I'm really impressed that this has an acro mode, and we'll see how well it handles it. Never mind, we're still in auto level. Okay, so I don't know what's going on, but whether it's sensed a crash or not, but it's uh, whenever it crashes or something, it just stops responding for some reason. And it's not like it just did this once. Every time I crash it, it stops responding. No, probably not yet. Okay, now I've got the helicopter verified in full aerobatic mode. Of course, I just dropped it out of the sky, so it decided to quit working. Ugh, it's getting really irritating. I can't say I'm impressed with this flight controller, especially when it comes to crashing it. Um, you know, I just shut down the throttle because it's really hard to land. It dropped from maybe this high up and it, now it just quit responding. So we're going to try to get it to go again. Um, not quite sure what mode it's in now, but... Uh, Wait for that light to turn back on if it's going to go or... Nope, looks like we're going to have to change the battery. Alright, now we're in full acro. Sort of. Um, as you can see, I'm kind of fighting it. Um, whenever I turn one way, it, it's like the PIDs are bad. It just feels like it's sloppy, see? It just doesn't feel, it really doesn't feel like I would think an acro copter should be. Though it is quite fast. Ah. Drop it. Kalua, drop, drop. Okay, so acro, it's really hard to control. You can see the vehicle was just, let me get that piece of grass out of the way. 
Acro was really hard to control. You could see I'd give it an angle and then it overcorrect and come back and I couldn't figure out what angle it was really going to set at. It also doesn't have a whole lot of punch out power. It's kind of cool that it has it, but it feels like the PIDs are set way too low. It just feels, well, sloppy. Uh, really not as impressed with this as I, I thought I'd be. With the, the build quality, amazing. Uh, the parts, amazing. The, the flight, the flight just kind of underwhelming me. Okay, now that we got the dog inside so I can show you what's going on without a, a dog jumping at it, uh, there's a problem I've been having with this when it comes to yaw. It gets very unstable and it seems to drop out of the sky and it probably will work now and make a fool out of me, but I don't know, we'll see. See what I mean? It just kind of waddles and then loses control. I don't know why it does that on yaw. It's done it since I first got it, before the dog even got a hold of it. I think I'm gonna change the flight controller out. I'm gonna put a SEMA X5 flight controller in it and see what it does to the helicopter. It might not fly at all, considering that thing's a lot heavier and more powerful than a SEMA, but uh, who knows? Maybe it'll work. Okay, so this is the Helimax 230SI, but I've modified it with a SEMA X5 uh, flight controller, and it seems to work reasonably well. So uh, we'll see uh, how Kalua here likes chasing it with the X5 in it. Sit. Okay, so after playing with the dog, this is what it looks like. Uh, she knocked my little light out of the back and uh, a couple big teeth marks in it. The nice thing is, is the frame still is reasonably straight, um, but I'm noticing it doesn't have quite as much power as the SEMA. It, I guess I shouldn't say it doesn't have as much power. It, it definitely maintains altitude better. It climbs better, but it doesn't have as much torque. It doesn't have as much oomph. So it does pretty well. It just doesn't climb as fast as SEMA, but it's a longer flight time and it's definitely got a higher top speed. Okay, so I had to cut the flying short because it just started raining outside and well, I didn't feel like getting wet while shooting this video. So overall, the flight characteristics don't line up with the build quality. Amazing build quality, but I'm really underwhelmed by the flight characteristics. It just feels, well, sloppy. Uh, when I fly the helicopter one way and go back the other way, it would just overcorrect and come back and oscillate as if the PID settings are just way too low. And I also noticed that in, in when I went to acro mode, um, it would turn at an angle and then it would overcorrect and I'd have it here waiting for the vehicle to come back and sometimes it would, other times it wouldn't. And then when I go to try to recover it, it was very easy to overcorrect. So it just felt... Uh, like the PID settings on this were just not set properly. I think the uh, specifically the, the P gain could be turned up quite a bit as well as the I gain. Unfortunately, Helimax does not allow you to go in and modify the flight controller in any way. So if anybody from Helimax is watching this, please turn up the PID settings to give this thing a little bit more of a locked in feel because it just, it just feels sloppy. And if the, if the flight characteristics could match up with the build quality and the parts quality, it's, this would be an amazing, amazing vehicle. But unfortunately, the settings, well, aren't that great. So overall, it's a, it's a decent quadcopter for outside. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it for inside. It's a little bit heavy and you have a good probability of damaging something in your home. And if this hits you, these blades carry a lot of momentum. And while they're not likely to cause any permanent harm, they really are going to hurt. 
So overall, on a scale of 1 to 10, I probably give this thing about a 6. Really, really good build quality, but the flight characteristics, which are what I feel are most important, it just didn't live up to that. So not saying it's so bad, but I, again, I'm comparing it to my SEMA X5, which is my dog's favorite toy. And well, that sets the bar pretty high and this just didn't quite make it to that level. So with that, I might be crazy and keep it flying.